Welcome back everyone. So here I'm still working on the blade skin for Aurora. So I'm just here to show the progress that we have so far. Um, I haven't done any debugging as yet, but I've managed to get the UI and everything set up the way that I wanted to so far. So there will be an Xbox Live tab. And this is where you have your avatar, gamer score, achievements, and stuff like that. So I'm trying to make things as close as possible to the original, but not quite as the original because of the different elements that are in Aurora. They don't mesh that well if I try to do it exactly like the original. Um, so we have this section. So I have to find some way to get the achievements or your current achievements to pass through onto this page. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to achieve that just yet. Um, so we have our system section. We have the script part actually um, working. I've yet to implement the file manager. That's not a part that I'm going to have to actually um, work on. Um, as for we have the personalization and our security tab. So um, those itself, those are kind of finished so far. They do work. Uh, I need to change that. So let's go here, tab one. Now let's change the editor personalize to match that. So yeah. And I think one other bug. I wouldn't call it a bug, but it's in the theme tab. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me show that. And I think it's the name of the wallpaper. I'm going to have to. So that's the preview. Coin Biker. So the name for this was showing up in a way that I don't want it to. Um, all right, so we know that this is background. So do I there? Let me put this. So I can do it like this. The only thing is that whatever file name that's been used can't be a long file name. So I can do this. All right. And the current background, so now the background will go right there. All right, we're going to give it a shot and see. So let's go back out. And we're going to add that because we need only the top tab to be active. Let's go back out. All right, so I'm just going to give a rundown of the tab once I put onto the console and let you see how it actually looks. Um, not every single function is working. So let's um, save this.
right and i'm gonna upload this to the console and we'll see how it looks all right so in our console now we'll just load up the skins and we'll just do a walkthrough all right so to check this section is working so this section i'm going to um actually have to redesign so it's more attractive um i try to get it like the original in a few variation it didn't work um it keeps crashing and when i try to put it in a different screen by itself um aurora didn't like that most of the information wasn't being carried over so i'm going to do some more digging and see if i can get this part to work properly so the security section work information being carried over from a previous profile um all the, the path are working now uh, the, the modules are working and everything as for um, the personalized tab information carried over see we have our filter and everything our theme all right so this is what i was referring to with the the file name for the picture so default background so i have to find somewhere that i want to put the name for the the current background i'm not quite sure where i'm going to put it yet but yeah you can change the background but that's that's the name it's trying to show and for the skin they want to change whatever skin it shows right there in that screen and I put an apply button so you just change skin apply you don't have to actually scroll all the way over to systems and restart so I made that part um, easier so scrolling across you do use a d-pad to, to scroll up across the different um, blades the Xbox live area so this is where um, the avatar and everything will be shown and I should have been seen the avatar there. I'm not quite sure why I haven't loaded. But here, our script menu, so the script menu does work. I haven't done the file manager as yet. That's going to be another thing to work on. Right, so I'm not quite sure why the avatar hasn't been loaded. But let's try so Let's do a reboot and see if that loads go so i do realize that when i um, load up the blade skin from a previous skin if i do a restart it doesn't load all the module i have to actually do a reboot so coming from a cold boot everything works if you do a warm boot some things will work and some things won't work um i'm not quite sure where that is as yet but it's another thing to, to work on. All right, so I'm just I'm waiting for this to actually come up. All right. So the delayed starting is not the skin itself. It's just the console that's doing that. Uh, okay, when I try this on a different console, it, it does come up just quickly. Okay. All right, get the controller on. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so I do know that when you do a complete reboot, everything works the way it should. Uh, for gamer score, I'm gonna work in getting that um, implemented. Um, this section is gonna have your profile. You can change profile. Uh, you'll be able to see your recent achievements. I'm going to find a way to bring that over from the Aurora database. Uh, I'm not quite sure I'm going to do that yet, but I'm going to um, work on that. Go over. These are the games itself. Yeah, security section. I say everything in here actually works. Um, as for language, changing the language won't change most of the language so like your tab um your tab and your 
Blade, those will all remain in English. I'm planning to do different versions once I get everything up and running. Personalize everything is working. So you can go through and you can say so you change to flow B and you can cross scroll over. Let's see flow B. I'll go to C and that's C. If I go back to this regular B, I see that. So, yeah, so this section I'm going to um, redesign. Um, there's a few navigation I'm going to have to fix. So, if you're from the asset, sure you can go across, but I do notice that. If you are in the module and you try to press to your to your right, it, it doesn't really go over. So that's going to be fixed. As for the system, all your temperatures do work. You can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit, anything like that. So yeah, the skin is coming along. It's taking a lot of work and I'm still working on it. I also want to make sure that there's no um, bugs in it when I release it. Um, I don't want the user experience to be frustrated. I just want it to be um, a smooth experience. And yeah, it's coming along. So usually you can go, you can go back to your default skin and it shows what skin you're going to be loaded. And whatever UI aspect, I'm going to change that also. You can see some of the text at the bottom of that is also cut off in the description. But you know, you go and you click apply, and it will apply the skin and restart. And you go here in another skin. And you have to do your normal thing. You have to go back in and change your cover flow for whatever skin that you actually load up. And yeah, so that's the progress so far with the base skin. Um, leave your comments, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them below. Um, as for implementing new features, I can't promise anything new that's suggested. I can only try it. If it works, I'll leave it in. If it doesn't work and if it breaks the skin, I, I will leave it out. All right, so see you in the next one.